people took the piss out of it. And I sort of liked that, you know, I was like, yeah, can't handle it, huh? Can't handle my mo. And some of the commentary was like, it looks like a, like a beaver's mo. It looks like Selleck, Tom Selleck. And I was like, sick. Well, I've seen heaps of mo's around now. You seeing him in the pillow? They're coming. Good day, mates. Welcome to Australia. It's 7.30 in the morning on a Saturday, the first of the year, and we're just pulling up to the house of Mitch Docker of EF Education First Pro Cycling. We're here to start filming EF Gone Racing, which is a new series that's going to take you behind the scenes of a World Tour team. It all starts here. I'm Mitch Stocker, um, I ride for EF Education First Pro Cycling and it's 2019, very early, you know, we're just getting off the cobwebs of New Year's Eve and already our national champs. It's a race of attrition and you just got to go up and down a climb, but it's a great race, you know, it's, you get to race in front of your home crowd because it's outside of Melbourne, so a lot of my friends and family go down and people from my club and good atmosphere on the one last K of the hill and I often get in the breakaway too. Just a good day, a good way to start the year. With three of us, you can sort of play, especially with our kit, got the stealth kit on, you can play the stealth role. Get forgotten a little bit. Um, and Jimmy, from what I've seen, he's, he's flying. And that course, like I said, doesn't suit me, suits him. And hopefully with a bit more of my experience, I can sort of help them through. It's race day morning, we've made it to Buninyong, sweet little town here outside of Melbourne. Um, we're going to now go and find the boys, see how they're looking in the blackout kit. Well, we're just like on the outskirts of Ballarat in Buninyong, and there's this hill here. It's nothing like spectacular. It's not a mountain, even though they call it Mount Buninyong. It's not a mountain. But it's just you go up it 16 times. We've got a young gun here um, who is incredibly motivated, incredibly fit. It'd be great to help him do something. But also, um, it'd be nice to get into a breakaway. Just have a little bit of a day out, you know? And we look fucking good. <laughs> Hi, how are you going? I'm, uh, I'm Warren, or Wazza as they call me, and I'm Mitch Docker's father. Ollie and Sam. Mitch was um, a bit of a rogue growing up, he was, but he was always one of those guys that um, nicknamed guys, and he's a real good motivator for teams and that. They all love him, you know, that, that way. Because the team seemed to like his personality. Uh, this is uh, Mitch's son, and uh, he thinks every bike rider is Mitch. Hey, Mitch. <laughs> Looks like Mitch has already made it into the early breakaway. Let's see if they can hold on. My name is Tom Southern. I am a sports director at EF Education First Pro Cycling. New name, new team. We've got a really fit guy in Jimmy Whelan, like super fit, but also with limited experience. Um, so he's kind of our protected guy, if you will, because we believe that he can, he, we believe he can do it form-wise. And we wanted to have Jimmy in the break with Mitch or Lockie. And we have Mitch and Jimmy, so that's great for us at the moment. Don't panic, Jimmy, don't panic. Great to split a little bit. Two uh, Mitchelton guys and two other guys from a local team of Sort of chipped off, it's just obviously making it a bit more difficult than everybody else. But just told him to relax, take it easy. He's obviously really good, and if he just gets too excited and starts closing that down early in the race, it's, uh, 
it's not great. We're about halfway through the race, eight laps in. There's a leading group of four guys, super strong. They're up front, but we've got James Whelan chasing behind. Go on, Jimmy, two minutes 30. James was very excited. I think Mitch and Simon Clark and a number of the riders have been really supportive of him. And for him to have Mitch riding for him today and Paddy Burt and some of the other guys from the Drapak development team are sitting on the front there, yeah. he'd be just so pleased. It's fantastic. Yeah. Do you ever get nervous watching him ride? When he's, well, we went over to Europe to see him race, but he crashed, so... But um, he'll always want to be competitive in a race and he likes to win them and you'll see that today, I think. Lap after lap after lap, and they're on the final one right now. And Jimmy Whelan, his first ever race as a World Tour pro, he could be in for a top 10 finish. He's had Mitch Docker working for him, Lachlan Morton working for him, and now he's the only EF man left in the race. Can he pull off a top 10? Cycling is one of the most beautiful sports in the world, but it's also one of the most brutal. Behind me, the winners have just popped their podium champagne. And on my other shoulder, you've got Jimmy Whelan. It looks like he's crashed on the final lap. He's soldiered on to reach the finish line, but he looks like he's really dented up his face as he was due to get a great result. He's come really quick through the ranks. Make the most out of this enthusiasm. Let him go, let him run. Let him run at these races hard. I mean, his ascendancy is... I've, I've not seen much like it. It's, uh, it's bike racing, Friday night, man. Winter Criterium. That's why you're here.